Holy freaking crap, what happened? We had the doors open and was out here washing and it was all nice. <laughs> We will do a total refresh on all sides of the valve covers and they just hang here so we can do real light coats and because i want a brand new surface here fresh painted and here where the o-rings sit so i'll do a real just light mist and then wait about 10 minutes and mist it again put a little wd-40 in here and between nylon and screwdriver this needs to be good. When I grab this to put it on the truck, I, I'll be moderately disgusted if I see it like it is right now when it's time to final install. So I'll spend a little time on it right now. Holy crap, that thing is nasty. All right, just for a mental note, we are getting ready to clean all these and lose the order. This is the passenger side. He had a six liter one and then three six fours and then a six liter one. That's the order that they were in on the passenger side of the engine, so it's gone now. That works great. This covers up the bolt holes so I can paint the back and then we can use these bolts to flip it over two-handed. Just like that, works great. I'm gonna throw some bolts in it and paint it. Oh, it's fish eyeing. Well, you know what? They no warranty on paint, but we do the best we can. Damn it. So let's kill the lights over here. I think we're done. Table's all clean. <laughs> yeah, we throw. I mean, it ain't that hard. Clean it up, throw a little clear coat on the starter so it doesn't get all nasty. And the EGR valve, we clear coat the metal of the EGR valve so it doesn't look all chalky. I guess it's time to get over here and get this engine out. Yeah, we're uh, done to this point. First part of the engine out cart. So I just sit down right here. I got my light set up and I can look straight down through there while I'm standing. And there's the bolt. Oh, go in there. Well, way in there. So I'll, 14 stupid long, it goes right there. Grab the little impact and let her eat. And I like to take the balancer. I went ahead and took it off while I had the tools so that when we wash, I can wash all this with the hot seat. And now I just I just put the bar in here and spin it over so we can get the torque converter nuts out. Let's get them all going. I mean, I wonder if they put Loctite in there. That does not feel like coolant. When I lifted it up, it poured out all over the freaking place. Look. I, I thought he was bleeding. <laughs> Look, it's everywhere. You think he held this up and put Loctite inside of there? I don't know. Uh, okay, let's just say maybe that is a golden idea. I don't know. I ain't never tried it before, but they all leak. Maybe we could just fill it up with red lock. Obviously, it didn't do much because it poured out all over the place. It didn't get to stay in long enough, maybe. It doesn't look like I'm bleeding. That's the noise we're looking for. All right, Casey was wondering how to get these out. You can do a little impact with a big knuckle, 13 16 and it works on six of them. Okay, we pop that out, now we'll go to the other side. Now this side, see, we'll just get that lined up. I can't see it, I'm doing it without being able to see it. Okay, there's one. Two. Oh, get in there. need to be done with a short well 13 16 half inch drive break it loose and then get you a short well 13 16 on a milwaukee so once it's loose you can just put a milwaukee up there and not have to do it by hand so that's the tools that you need to get under here but i didn't get all of them you use that short well with the knuckle with the impact on all six of them except the top two on the passenger side and then you take this short well with a long bar get it lined up and just crack it loose couple times that's good let's go over to the other side crack it loose see you can't get to it because of the frame okay that's it crack them loose and then have your milwaukee ready it helps too if you pull the pull it off while it's running because that will knock any dirt off that way when you get the nut all the way off you can pull it out of the damn socket so when you run it i just kind of bounce it around a little bit as i'm pulling it out 
that ensures that I can get it out. And there you go. We are disassembled. We're taken apart, unmounted from the truck. Holy crap, it's time. Oh, clean that off. It's time. And we're separated. We'll pull this out and put our fake engine back in. Uh, I can't see in there about where main yet. Be all right. Let's pull it out. Julie's huffing and heaving and huffing. <laughs> there she goes. Now that's cab off, engine out. We are going to use another jug. Let's see how his oil looks. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Please don't overflow. Oh God, please don't overflow. Do you have the funnel or do you wanna go get a drain pan just in case? Oh God. Hold it, I don't have the funnel. I have the funnel. Okay. Oh goodness. Let's get a drain pan quick. Just hang on, just hang on, just hold it. Just, just hold tight. If we're good enough shot, we could probably run it straight down in the hole. It's trying please, to keep up. Please don't overflow. Please slow down. It's not that dirty though. See how it's not staining. There it goes. It caught up. Okay, it's dropping down. Good, we made it. So we're saying all of the saving this oil. I don't know. I might put it in something I own. Who knows? We're using it on something. I doubt Ron would want to put it back in. I doubt. All right, here's our setup. I'm planning on throwing a tarp over the engine. And I'm just gonna let her eat. I'm just gonna clean it. It, that thing don't care, we'll blow gun it. I'm gonna do a wash here from standing on the other side over there and spray it this way and hope like hell it don't throw the tarp up. I'm just gonna try and contain it because it's freaking snowing outside. I don't wanna put it outside. Let's do this. All right, transformation of the block. We're taking everything off, but now is a very good time to go ahead and paint. Since we don't know exactly what we're gonna do with the block, so I went ahead and while we finished washed under here, got it ready for the other engine to put in. I went ahead and washed the side of the block, got the greasiness off and painted the engine block. Now I just paint it with the covers on, paint it with everything on because our cleaners will take all that off, it'll be fine. So I'll just paint it and then the sucker will dry. See if I missed anything. Oh, a little bit of nastiness down there. That'd be all right. That's just like an initial paint, honestly. That looks good though. Hopefully we can get the frame painted. I don't know. Now we can take a look at the aftermath. We've got all that cleaned up, everything gone. Oh, gotta get this for the brake, the pulse vacuum hub for the hubs. I did clean out the transmission bell housing. I hate it when those things stay nasty. Got a little water in it, but it'll be all right. But we're getting it dry, getting ready to paint this. I want to get this painted and then we'll set the engine in, but I have to take the transmission lines off the truck. So we're going to drain the transmission of fluid and then get the lines off the truck. Then we can put some paint on here and set the fake engine in. Let's see how this fluid looks. Oh yeah, it's dark. See the darkness to it? Look at it dripping off of me. It almost looks black. Good call. Oh yeah, look in there. It's Pretty nasty. You can kind of see through it in the light as I'm looking here, but yeah, we might as well get some fresh fluid in it. Now we can take these lines off here in a second, but it's gonna freaking drain everywhere. Transmission's way up on an angle, which doesn't really matter. I just, we're not necessarily adding fluid or caring about the level right now. I just want to drop it down so that this line back here won't leak fluid. That's all I want. Put a new O-ring on this every time. Oh, oh <laughs> damn, it splashed up on the frame too. Put a new, oh, <laughs> Jesus. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go dump this in there. Okay. Use a backup wrench when you take these off. It's a one inch and a 19. There you go, right in there. <laughs> Say bye-bye, transmission line. Okay. Julie got some caps here. 
And we're about ready to something. <laughs> Yeah, we'll pull the torque converter out and get all that fluid out of it. That's a very thorough fluid change when we do that. Yep. Scuff this up a little bit. The paint can stick to it. I got dirty. She said I'm disgusting. Let's burn it up some. It's times like this when we actually get to start having fun. Where it's... First part, there's the fake engine. That is so that everything is highly accessible while we're, you know, doing whatever it is we're doing. Plus the transmission sit level too. I still have the drain plug out and it's just being kicked around on the floor just wherever the hell we want to put it at. Because when we drop this down, which we planned on going and eating lunch, letting the paint dry a little bit. But if it does peel off, it peels off. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe I. But we're gonna drop that down and then the transmission will and then the transmission will drain a little more. We have the torque converter pulled. So we'll start the endless endeavor of pulling fluid out of that. Uh, Ron, you might think, uh, well, okay, I've always been considering when I use a vac tool and I pull fluid, brake leader, basically, suck it out of there, in 20 minutes come back, you get another freaking half a cup out of it, something like that. But after we do that a little bit, I've always thought about putting a quarter fresh fluid in it and rolling it around and then doing it again. Kind of like just burning some freaking fluid. I mean, this stuff's 10 freaking dollars a quart, so. I tell you what though, just wonderful. It's gonna, and we have the axles have already been touched. I mean, they don't, I mean, they that looks good. See it, all the parts are like individually painted, individually look good. And so that's done under there. Everything from the spring pocket down is very easy to do cab on, except the shock. That freaking shock, that kind of annoying. I mean, because that's kind of a pain in the butt to get that bolt off. But I did decide to not lift the transmission by the lift. If uh, you've seen some previous videos, we used to do that. But I think I'm going to go to this. That spot where that strap goes is a pain in my freaking butt. Because when we go to drop the engine in, I do not want to have to touch up on that paint right there so i needed a way to hold the transmission in place while and move the truck around and do everything and be able to paint and that freaking is going to do it right there over here hanging out in the dark even if we take all the paint off and we rebuild this engine and it goes in the spray cabinet i don't care because once we take all the covers off and we prep the deck surfaces, that's going to look absolutely wonderful. That's like, I mean, could, could be almost done. Thing is, I haven't flipped it upside down. We're going to, Ron asked if we could pull the oil pan before we flip it over. Yeah, I'm all right with that. Let's just do that. I mean, I, I like pulling the bolts out and taking the bolts out and then popping the pan up. Um, but we'll just say that if there's even a slight thought that we might be keeping anything with the engine, then uh, we'll just take the pan off like that all the time because then there, the oil should be done dripping. You know what I mean? Yeah. So right now, we're going to go ahead and get this engine set down so that it's settled. Holy shit, that's hot. Ah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ah. Ready? Yeah. Bye -bye. Oh my God, that's hot. This whole area down here is absolutely disgusting. That whole configuration right there is nasty. And that ultrasonic just might, let's see what it does. Take a closer look at it. You can get a little before and after memory of it. Oh, hey. All that crap. Yeah. It's freaking nasty. Let's spray it off real quick. 
Let her just think about what she did in the office on it for a little while. See what it looks like. Hang on. Okay. I mean, I'm sure everybody cleans out their bypass transmission filters just like this. Everybody does this stuff. Look, it comes out of both of them. Same. It's hot, too. This water's burning the hell out of me. <laughs> I didn't do it out there. After a moderate amount of work, there she is. I did go ahead and paint the bottom. Painted the front axle. Most of it. I did not cut in with rattle cam like I normally do. It fills in a lot of the spots, but it'll be all right. We might cut in if we see something that gets on our nerves. It looks freaking wonderful though. Nice hard coat. Look how clean. Look, it's so thick. Put a coat on it, let it sit, let it kind of get tacky, and then put a fat, monstrous coat on it. That's almost, that's not enough. We actually just ran out of paint. But, I mean, we have a little left. But if we had a full can, I mean, that, that's pretty deep. I, I want to fill all the pits. Spring pockets, coat them real good. I did wire brush. I, I went over and touched off on it, did a little bit of prep, wire brushed all the rust off. And yeah. Now we are done with this for. Well, till the engine's done. Now we have this. She's just sitting here. We covered her up. About to shut all the lights off over there, turn the lights on here, and let's get these uh, oil pan and covers off and get this thing just to a bare short block. That's easier said than done, though, because, well, I guess it's really not that messy in here, is it? Got the transmission fluid to go put up. Yeah. Kyle, I'm just, I'm just thrilled that we got it painted. We didn't know if we was gonna get the engine out and get it painted today, because we had a lot of other stuff to do, but we got it done. It's Friday too, just before the weekend. Love it. All right, we're here. Got the transmission lines ready to paint. Oh, we are gonna take this oil pan off just like it sits right now. Let's pull it off. Okay, Julie pulled a card. She said, Julie said no. She no, said, well, I said, don't you want to take off the front and rear covers first? And I said, yeah, kind of, yeah. Okay, so let's take the front and rear covers off and then we'll go to oil pan. So, all right, so this pretty much will get it off every time. One here, one here. Well, that was overly easy. Okay, that one yeah. could have been harder. You're covered. Get the regulator out. Let's see. I, it, it was fine. It, it's not bound up. Didn't you say it looked like somebody put a low pressure pump cover on it though? Cover looks different. Yeah. Put your pinky up in there and grab it. And there you go. Slid out nice and smooth too. Low pressure pump cover. You got a little lip right here. That. And you got a little lip right here. So I take a little brass hammer. Give it one pop. Oh, it didn't pour any oil out. And then pop it here. Like that. 
Here we pop. Just like that. Oh, that looks wonderful. Very, very good. That looks very good. If the two magnets I brought you are strong enough. Turn around for that one. Ooh. There we go. No, nope. looks good. Where? That's it. No damage. I don't see any damage whatsoever. Straight in the spray cabinet. Lettery. Bye bye. All right, front cover's gone, rear cover's gone, everything's in the cleaners. Get these front cover dowels out. Much anything we can pour it into. Just grab that drain pan. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll hold it. Most of that's from us washing. Yeah, maybe a little WD-40 in there. All right, let's uh, set it somewhere so we can look at it. Oh, man, there's nothing, nothing concerning at all. But there's a dent in it, so I think we're replacing it. Oh yeah, big dent right there. We go wash my hands. Shining light way, go down in there close. Or give me a big light. You know, this might be some sparkly stuff in there. Looks like there's spread it out. Yeah, there's a little speck of something right there. You see that? Right there? Yep. Hmm. Either way, nothing real concerning. So we're gonna go ahead and wash it. It's good. It's done. Pickup tube? I, I didn't see anything. Yeah, this is a clean engine right here. Very clean. 
I would bet these lifters are all wonderful. Which means the cam shaft probably survived too. Yeah. Okay. All right, without tearing it all the way apart, obviously, I have looked in there at all of these connecting rods for some bushings that are spun and I have not seen them. That's what I wanted to look at first. That was my major concern because if they're rod bushings, then we know it's coming apart, like all the way apart. Rods are coming out crank's coming out everything's coming out but i have not seen it'll be on the far end away from us if you look down the side of the connecting rod you'll see it'll like jut out a little bit and i'm not seeing it here it looks pretty smooth and so with that said now we've got about two thousandths of cylinder wear and i think we're we might we might do a refresh might do ball Ball hone with rings, lap the valves in, possibly no bearings. And because if there's no, if we're not going to take the crank and go have it worked, then we're going to put it back together with the old bearings as long as there's no damage, which how that low pressure pump cover looked over here. That right there, that says we're going to have some wonderful bearings. There ain't nothing wrong with them bearings. Them bearings will ride another sick 500,000 miles. I would put money on it. Well, as long as there's no failure. <laughs> there's always that little phrase right there. But, but what I'm getting at is it's the weekend now. Cleaners are all going. We're gonna go back there and I'm gonna bang out the rest of this, those covers, front and rear cover, upper oil pan. Not the oil pan though. We're just gonna get the oil pan clean and touch because we're gonna go find another oil pan. But maybe I can get those covers done and over there and finished. That way, when we come back, I don't, I, once again, I don't want all those parts while we're messing with the engine. Because if we come over here and we start uncovering stuff, I mean, uh, all the stuff that has to do with after short block, got it's got to go. It's got to go over there. The only thing I want here are cylinder heads and the short block. That's it. And manifolds, because we might surface them, maybe. Front cover is taking a lot of prep. perfect world we get all that pink out from that o-ring and then over here sealant brass brush i'm using mm, no yeah i think it is brush. all right that's a wrap folded up all the tarps got the engine covered up covers are ready <laughs> My God, that's a lot of freaking work. Why do Here we go. Cold start. I'll take it. 